Hi everyone, we are studying from class 10, chapter 3, pair of linear equations in two variables. Today's video we are going to study exercise 3.2, question 2. On comparing the ratios A1 upon A2, B1 upon B2 and C1 upon C2, find out whether the lines representing the following pairs of linear equations intersect at a point, are parallel or coincident. So what we have to find out is, here we have the equations if we have to draw the graph we are not going to plot the graph here but if we have to draw the graph then our linear equations that both the lines okay this will be one line this is another line so this both the lines are they going to intersect or they are going to be parallel or they are going to be coincident this i have explained to you in the introduction part introduction for exercise 3.2 i have explained to you without plotting the graph only looking at the equation how we can find out whether our graph is going to be intersecting or parallel or coincident and i explained to you when the equations are given to you all that you have to do is just compare the coefficients so here this is our a1 this is a2 this is b1 and this is b2 and this is c1 and c2 so when we compare, we have to see first two, we have to compare and see. If both are not same or both are not equal, so if the, in this condition, so if that is a condition, our graph will be intersecting. And if you find all the conditions, means all, all these, when we compare and see and simplify and see, if everything is same, here 1 upon 2, 1 upon 2, 1 upon 2, when we simplify. So when all are same, then our graph will be coincident and if you find both are same but the third one is not same so at this condition when c1 upon c2 if this is not equal to this and that type of equations will have a parallel lines if we if we have to plot the graph so we are not going to plot the graph but just looking at the equation we will see the ratios and we'll find out what condition it is if this is the condition, then our line will be intersecting. If this condition, it will be coincident. And in this condition, it will be parallel. So this is what we are going to do. So let's begin. So the first one we have here. So this is our A1. This is A2. This is B1. This is B2. And this is C1. And this is C2. So let's compare and see. So you have 5 upon 7, first both we will compare and see and here we have 4 upon 6, this is minus 4 upon, here we have 6. First both we will compare and then if both are same then we will go for the third to see. So when we are comparing, we will see this is 5 upon 7, this is minus 4 upon 6. Now can we uh, say that both are same even if you are simplifying this. Even if you simplify this with table 2, this will be 2 times 4 and this will be 3 times 6. Even and this is 5 and this is 7. So how can it be even if this without simplifying also we can make out both are not equal. If you simplify also this is not equal. So therefore this is not equal. So our answer will be A1 upon A2 is not equal to B1 upon B2. Therefore, the lines, the lines will intersect, will intersect at a point. So this is the answer because I told you here. So when both are not same, the graph will be intersecting. So now let's do the second one. So let's second compare and see. This is 9 upon 18. So 9 upon 18. This is 3 upon 6. So let's compare and see. If you are dividing with table 9, it will be 1 times 9, this will be 2 times 18. 
so if table 3 1 times 3 and this is 2 times you will get 3 so 1 upon 2 here also 1 upon 2 now let us compare this one 12 upon 24 so if you are this also 1 times 12 2 times 24 so if you see 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 so all are equal so then if in this condition you can write a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 which is equal to c1 upon c2 so if this is the condition so what is our graph will be say all are same so it will be coincident so therefore the lines will coincide co you can write coincide or coincident or the lines will be coincident will be coincident or the lines will coincide any, any, any way you can write so now let's do the third one here it is 6 upon 2 first we will compare both 3 upon this is y here 1 both are minus here so let's write down minus now if you see this is uh, if we simplify and see this is 1 time will come to 3 times will become um, 3 times it will become 6 ok 3 upon 1 we got so my, both the minus will get cancelled here so here also 3 upon 1 here also 3 upon 1 so let us compare the last one now this is 10 upon 9 10 upon 9 so this is 10 and this is 9 can we simplify this no so that means this is not equal so that means what is the condition here the condition is a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 and not equal to c1 upon c2 so in this condition so what will be the graph you see so it will be parallel lines so therefore here the lines will be parallel so that's the answer. Thank you. God.